Hey everyone, it's your girl, Allie, and you made it to the tea, thank you so much. It means it's Thursday, by the way, in case you are like me and still are having a very hard time knowing what day of the week it is. Um, today, we're gonna touch on a little bit of a different topic, but before I get there, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Our handle there is at bodycandy. We are bodycandy.com on Snapchat. Then we are on facebook.com slash bodycandybodyjewelry, youtube.com slash bodycandybodyjewelry, and pinterest.com slash bodycandy. So now that we have that out of the way, uh, yeah, I've been getting so many good questions lately. And what really excites me is when I get a lot of the same question, because that means that a lot of you are interested in it. Um, so this one's a little bit out of the realm, but everybody's been asking me about comparing tattoos to piercings. So let's talk about it. Um, first and foremost, as somebody that is heavily tattooed, at least medium tattooed, um, I should probably be careful saying heavily. I'm not, not quite there, but I, I would say, you know, I'm at like at least 50% of my body. Um, and having several piercings and having redone piercings and all that stuff over the years, this is kind of like comparing apples to oranges. Um, there's definitely a lot of different things going on. Piercing is a totally different needle. It's very quick. Um, you know, you're not like sitting there for hours getting pierced, but also you have a heel time, a heel time that is way beyond a tattoo. Um, and with that being said, you sit down for a tattoo and you're there for a few hours and then your heel time is a lot shorter, just a couple of weeks usually, um, depending on your skin, it can be even sooner depending on the tattoo and the way that it was performed. All those things are vari variables, but um, you know, even with, with a tattoo, like, you know, some of the shading, uh, tattoo machines and things like that, they have seven to 11 needles at a time kind of does really feel like a bee sting or like a brush burn. It's very tolerable. I, I don't know how to explain it other than it's a very like dulling pain. And after about 10 minutes, you kind of feel your endorphins pick up and then suddenly you're kind of cruising through. I always always when I sit down to get tattooed, the first line, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die here. I'm never going to make it through this tattoo. And it just makes me laugh because I'm obviously, I'm a tough bee. I can do that, right? You can do it too. Um, but at the end of the day, I think the biggest thing I really want to focus on here is apples to oranges, not the same thing. Pros and cons are definitely uh, your time is allotted differently when you're tattooed and pierced. But also at the end of the day, don't let pain deter you from doing something super cool because you can get through it. Believe me, even like if the tattoo hurts so bad, like the back of my neck hurts so bad. You know what? I love it. And it was worth a few hours of teaching myself that I can work through it and talk myself through something like that. It's very therapeutic for me. Um, is it for you? Because I'd love to know. If you have any questions or any feedback, you can always send an email to dearally at bodycandy.com. Don't forget that customer service things, anything to do with orders, uh, questions about jewelry, things like that should go to customer service. The email for them is help at bodycandy.com. I just, it's not. Um, gosh, I just fell out of my head. I will make sure that I put it in the email. Um, yeah. All right. I'm not, I'm apparently forgetful today. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. It's time. This is my cue. All right. I love you all so much. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to join me for Facebook live tomorrow at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Bye.